Hello viewers and welcome. This is Rame0268 from the Gaming Epic and I will be taking a look at Fantasy Star Online 2. The sequel to the insanely great Fantasy Star Online that was released on Dreamcast, then GameCube, then I believe there was a Xbox version eventually. But man, do I have some great memories of that first game freaking great and it is currently an open beta it is going to be a free to play uh, game of course it's not really an MMO more of a dungeon crawler it's just like the original but it's going to be free to play and it was only going to be released on PC and I believe a Vita and Vita version and there will be a cross connected which is awesome because I have a freaking Vita but of course Let's get this started before another cutscene starts. And at the moment, of, like I said, it's open beta, but it is only Japanese open beta. So I'm going to be just running through these menus real quick. Um, there's currently a guide. I'll try to put a link in the video. And it shows you how to register, log in, um, navigate all the menus. Uh, how all the combat systems work, how all the battle systems work, well, combat and battle are the same thing, all the uh, quest systems work, how the dialogue works, all that stuff, and it's just really, uh, they have uh, mapped everything out. It is, does get a little annoying, but hopefully there will be eventually a, uh, a, U a US version, hopefully. They said they were thinking about it, but right now there are some uh, third-party people, just fans, I'm guessing, that are working on an English patch. So hopefully that I'll get out soon, one day. Uh, is really, all I really want in terms of uh, uh, changing the language is just the menus. That's all I really care about. But um, this is my character. I am a freaking Gundam, and we'll be rolling around in this world. Alright, let's do this. Still getting some FPS issues, I don't know what that's about. Uh, wasn't getting this before. I'm, I wasn't playing in full screen mode before, but I might have to change that maybe. But uh... Usually all the uh, US players and things are like that. I think it was 17 plus where everyone's decided to gather. So I usually jump in channel 20. That little machine lets me change channels and you know talk to other people and all that crap. But um, I'm just gonna try to run through a dungeon and kind of just show you off. I'm currently the uh, hunter class, I believe, which is ma mainly uh, melee focused, definitely. But let's, let's just start a mission, how about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right here is where you like set up the missions on which missions you're gonna go. Uh, I've already learned these menus, so it's kind of self-explanatory. But uh, this little symbol right here uh, tells me they have a quest for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one real quick. And uh, I'm gonna set up a password so no one joins my shit. Uh, I know you can recruit like NPCs and stuff, but I haven't really messed with it too much. So uh, yeah, let's just let's just get let's just get out of here. Uh, hopefully, I won't get FES issues. Cause I have a, an amazing rig, but uh, it just might be some. Japanese, like it being a Japanese server or something, I'm guessing, I don't know. But, uh, this is your, like, little hub right here. And you, uh, can buy items, sell items, do all sorts of things right before you do the, uh, dungeons missions. But, uh, let's just go ahead and jump in now! But, yeah, like I said, um, this is a true sequel to Fantasy Star Online. It is everything I remember it was, but better. Hell, even even those gear pierces I have, it has like green shit all over it. I remember PSO, uh, you would get gear, but it wouldn't show up on your character until you would get like start getting like yellow items. 
then it started appearing on your character. But uh, now it seems like they've actually mapped out all the gear. And there are uh, mags still, those little pets that you would feed, feed throughout the game. And uh, I'm, I'm glad they put those back in because that's probably one of the best things about original original PSO. But uh, let's kill these best. So the combat's still rhythm based kind of like every time that red ring goes around me you do a combo but I'm about to blow your fucking mind right now yeah third person mode bitches so I don't have to like lock on anyone I can just kind of swing my shit around anywhere I want just... and it also works with guns as well um, it pretty much becomes a third person shooter but uh, I have no guns right now sadly to show y'all fucking monkey get out of here Oh yeah, it's gonna blow your mind again. You can jump now. Original PSO was all stationary, so now the hopefully the levels are uh, better mapped out and less kind of just hallway room, hallway room, hallway room. But um, this is like a little event right here. I don't ever understand what he says, so I'm gonna kind of just skip it right here. But, uh, yeah. So I can hit the F key and switch out from my uh, three weapon sets. Um, I have a great sword, these like whip dual blade things, which are pretty damn awesome. Uh, pole arm, which gives me these uh, uh, crazy ass combo ability. I haven't learned too many moves with the pole arm. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. Is there anything over here? Oh. And you can combo special abilities with uh, normal attacks and things like that. Uh, you do have a dash if you hit any of the directions uh, twice. And uh, Q, is it Q? Yeah, Q is your lock on. But again, I can just go to third person mode and say fuck it and just aim by myself. I wish I could zoom out a little bit out of this third person mode, but it's great for spell casting and things like that. And like, I mean, still randomized, randomized loot, just like original PSO. Uh, everyone has their own loot table in the dungeons. That's pretty good. And yeah. Let's see, and of course the die mites and all that. Those three uh, buttons is on there, uh, like healing items and things like that. Let's see, use one of them real quick. Top me off. And I, oh, I got some freaking jets on my legs. Uh, if you're a robot, you can pick between a running animation with just normal running or badass boosters. Why would you not pick the boosters? So, yeah. And um, most of these dungeons are solo, but every now and then you hit like a bigger dungeon that like crosses over. Uh, multiple characters, which is pretty crazy. Man, I got a crazy FPS draw right now. So what's up with that? Uh, let's see. Restarting. All right. So I guess I'm just gonna go to the next section. I probably want to do that thing back there. Of course, it's my inventory. Uh, you still learn spells, like just finding them on the floor. I don't know what these are, but I've just been learning whatever I can. Um, usually, they'll usually list it out. This is your equip screen. And I mean, I click and drag weapons into these slots. Then uh, you click and drag moves for those weapons into those. Uh, the side slots, like those are the moves up here for the uh, whip blades and great sword and pull arm. I'm trying to see if I got anything new. I don't, doesn't look like it. I got a lot for the uh, gun blade that you can get, but I don't have a gun blade sadly, which I uh, wish I could show y'all. It's pretty badass. Uh, hopefully, I find one on the floor soon. But I really like the pull arm. Just how crazy uh, God of War style kind of is. 
Yeah, I don't Hold care. On. But uh, I hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, they make an English patch someday. Uh, it would be a damn shame for this game not to hit the states. Hell, I want a Vita version, damn it. But there's still like uh, big ass bosses like in uh, original PSO. And I've been playing with uh, my two roommates, and hopefully I'll get some footage out there of us playing it. Probably just get the big boss fights, stuff like that. And let's try another weapon. My great sword right here. And those yellow things are money, of course. Um, there's a way to open. I'll cut some grass. Crazy grass physics. Oh, I got a staff, but this is yellow staff. And something else. And the, the stars on the side tell you the rarity of the item. And the sap isn't that great. Just like original PSO. But yeah, I mean, when I first saw the trailer for this game, I thought they were just turning it into a straight MMO. But it's not that. It is just like original Fantasy Star Online. But the combat has improved vastly. The level design seems to be improved vastly as well from what I've seen so far. But let me try to play as far as into it. Of course, if you want to try it on your own, it's open beta. Uh, and now, again, of course, we'll put a link somewhere to you to try to find this uh, website where they just... It, I believe it's... Uh, bump.psuorg or something like that. I'm, I need to find it, so, so, sorry. But, um... Yep. Got my jets! My jets! Come on, bastard! And, like, there's multiple dif difficulties to each area. Um, there's gonna be, like, a, you know, cave area, then forest area. Ruins just like original PSO. The monsters get harder depending on level and they drop better loot, of course. I can't remember what the level cap was in original PSO. I just remember it being really fucking high. I don't think I ever hit it, but we we split screen that, ga that game. Dude, we played that game non stop. It was one of our favorite games. little juggly. You see, uh, and with great sword, I can just aim like this, make it you know, way easier just to cleave, aim my cleaves better, and oh shit, I just got hit pretty hard. <laughs> you have uh, SP or PP at the bottom, I guess that stands for photon power, which is uh, your right click abilities basically use it. And I'm not too sure how magic users play yet. Uh, I know one of my roommates play it. Um, I know your web, the right click is your spells, but I don't know if you can like hot key spells to the bottom bar yet. I would think you could, but I remember in PSO uh, being really limited to which spells you had. You kind of just had to pick and choose. And this game is astonishingly beautiful for the free to play. Yeah! Yeah! And I can, like, when I stab him right there, I can grab him and throw him at someone else if I aim it right. Definitely if I'm, on, if I'm in the third person view. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Great sword is a little slow. Each weapon has its own rhythm again. 
and uh, do your combos better with some gear on the floor. Go back to the, uh, whatever these things are called. I wish I could find a freaking gun blade so I could show y'all. Same thing with that move. Just slam on someone else. These are like pretty much Kratos' weapons. I like how they feel. It's hard to tell the range though, really. Just kind of just swing and hope for the best. I want this game. I I want this to be made for US definitely. It, it would be super for Sega to never release it or ever uh, you know translate it over to other different countries because this game is great. Every everything about this free to play game is great. Hopefully the store is mostly cosmetic shit, which it should be because we're still getting loot like normal. Um I mean, and I know there's tons of cosmetic items. There's a vast amount you can pick from in the character creator, and I don't, I don't doubt you can get more later down the line. Fuck you, monkey. Oh, see, like sometimes um, people cross over in dungeons. That's another player right there. Uh, it just happens randomly. Mm, I mean, that never happened in a uh, original PSO at all. But, I mean, there'll be like 14, 15 people in a little area. And I think there's just certain events. I don't know what they're called yet, but... I mean, we'll be fighting bigger monsters and things like that. Uh, last night, uh, me and my two friends were just running through it, and there was just tons of people. And it looks like all the monsters scaled with our level and the amount of people we had. So because we were just like, it's, we were just slaughtering, the, the fight went on for a little while. But it's still pretty easy of course, but this is the first area of the game. They're still level 6s and 7s. Yeah, that piece drop is weird, I have to like restart Fret Silver. myself up and go back to the full arm the vastly superior weapon I'm trying to see if I got any more skills for it but it doesn't look like it I got some spells right here but I don't know how to use them exactly I need to I definitely need to read up on that Take it! Take it! And there's a fin in infinite dash and dodges. It's as fast as you can hit it, pretty much. That, that rock would have hit me pretty hard if I just stood there. And all the music, as well, is just the same, pretty much. Just freaking great. Uh, I just started having flashbacks. As soon as I heard the opening theme. And of course the character creator is pretty expansive. Uh, for the robots is a little limited but of course because they're robots. The female robot has a ton more. And then um, the humans and all the other races uh, look great. You can make some pretty ridiculous characters. Yeah. This skill's a little too easy to use. I 
Yeah. This weapon, I don't need it really, but. Just running through this area. I don't know what else to talk about, really. But we will be covering, like, I think I said this earlier, but we will be uh, covering this game more. I'm gonna try to get some more videos out there. Uh, hopefully just try to get the boss fights and more interesting dungeons. And, I don't know, once we're higher level. I definitely want to see how the boss fights are in this game. If they're anything like original PSO, I'm fine with that. Those fights are amazing. And they're challenging as hell. I want I want that again. I can't wait to uh, I think I think they said I could get a quest for the mag around level five. So I just need to go and actually do that. Ah. Take out your bastard. But yeah, I mean, if this came out in the U.S., it would be probably the greatest uh, free-to-play game in a long time. Um, there's nothing else like it. Dragon's Nest is maybe the closest thing, but the combat in Dragon's Nest I can never get into. The art style. This game is... This feels like a $60 game. That I would probably be playing a, paying a subscription for. It's, it's great. It's fully fleshed out. There's still like image chatting where you make the little images. I saw one of Vegeta with them over 9,000. A picture as well. It's it's something else, man. There's nothing else like it, and I miss I miss the region I miss the regional PSO so much. What 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 really killed uh, PSO for me? We played online after a while, most mostly with split screen. But after we started playing online, I mean, we had all these items, but we learned how to duplicate items from other people. So that kind of broke the game for us because we just got way too powerful too fast. But I remember those games being challenging. We need, we need this game. We'll never forgive Sega. I just need one more of those crab things, I think, and I, uh, finish this quest. Which looks like some, some people are fighting over here. Yep. Ah. But yeah, I mean, if you want to try this out, go ahead, man. It's not hard to get. Uh, it takes a while to learn the menus and the combat, but it's kind of self-explanatory. A lot of the images just tell you pretty much what it does. Like, you see my little spear right-click over there? It has a spear and a freaking ring around it. What do you think that means? It's a spin attack, obviously. And the diamites, I, I can tell which ones are more powerful. So the one with the one dot is the one level one, two, three. It's, it's really easy to get into. Whoever designed those symbols, bravo. This is really simple. And here are the uh, bird thingies again. Little cute bastards. I want, I want a dog, dude. We play possum and then run away with your loot. Where am I at? I need one more of those fucking crabs, I think. Oh, there's the one. Oh shit, get out of the menus. 
Yeah, and I keep this quest, I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, looks like that was it. So I'm gonna exit this area. That was a quick look at it, Fantasy Star Online 2, a simple quest dungeon. And there's a lot more to this game, there's so much they added, but it's it would be hard to explain in such a short video. Um, just look through that uh, guide that I hopefully will link in this video, and it tells you everything there is to this game. There's a lot more to it than just crawling through dungeons and beating the shit out of things. There's quests, there's actually story mode, which of course I don't understand. And then there's like this grid sphere thing. There's actually talent trees for each class. You can switch to any class at any time. Um, there's many, many things. But uh, let's get back out here and we're gonna close this up. And that was the uh, images I'm talking about. Here's some people in gear. They're loading in. Everyone looks so different. Awesome. And that is that. This is Fantasy Star Online 2. I hope you guys play with us. Uh, channel 20, server 10. Come and play it. If you love Fantasy Star Online 1, come and play this fucking game. I want Sega to know that this game deserves a translation. It's a great game, and I'm glad they actually went through with a sequel. Just, let's just hope the free-to-play model is good and fair, and just cosmetics. But thank you, and you have a good time. This is Rame 268 from The Gaming Epic. Click like, subscribe, favorite this video, share this video, check our the Anime Epic channel, which we're just starting to get, to get up again since of copyright notices. We do AMVs and things like that. We are uh, hopefully trying to do some more like uh, in-depth coverage on animes and things like that. But uh, we're still getting that started off. But uh, go ahead and like and comment on our videos, and we'll see you next time. All right. Goodbye.